we're back again. I'm gonna, yeah, you can see my face down in here. All right, so there is my bird, and I have colored it. I have blended it. I have used markers on these crayons. So the next thing you need to do is get your scissors, and you need to trim around your bird. You're gonna go very carefully. I'm cutting it very carefully around my line. You might want to turn your paper to help you. That's a trick. So I put together two pieces of paper. Um, you don't have to put together paper. Uh, you can use brown or uh, my brown paper or bag. And you can do it on tissue paper. If you don't have tissue paper, you could do it on plastic wrap. You can use a trash bag to make it. Okay? Whatever you have available. Whatever you have available. The next one I want is just paper and marker. You don't even have a marker. You don't have paint. Guess what? Get a pencil. Draw on with your pencil by moving it on a corner and deciding what values your pencil will give you. So if you don't have color, no worry. Yes, it's a nice. Using something, please ask for help. Mom and dad, they can help you. Okay? Now they're home to help you because Miss Smith is not there to help you to use the whole punch and a different thing. But if you need some help, please ask. Please ask. Don't hurt yourself if you don't know how to use something. I'm trying to turn it. Oh, that doesn't help me. Uh, pieces because I got a lot of pieces. Okay. I'm going to pause it. So I'm back, and you can see that I have turned it over. I've turned my bird over. And I'm going to turn it back over so you can see how it came out. It's completely cut out. So I turn my bird over. And I went outside and I found some sticks or some twigs. And they are working really good. So I can see. Here. I still have a ton of paper room So I am going to use. Um, I am going to use my pipe cleaner. And I have some masking tape, so I'm going to, oops, peel my masking tape back. So, I was struggling with the, it's not masking tape, it's scotch tape. I wish you guys were here because you guys are really good with this. So, I'm going to tear off some pieces of some scotch tape. Or you can use glue. Um, you can definitely use glue if that is. Uh, easier for you. Um, you would just put the glue on and put the thing in and glue it down. So let me go grab some glue. 
because we're going to reinforce this with glue. I'll be right back. So I'm using some glue. I'm putting some white glue across. I'm making a line across here. Guys, a twig works really good. If you don't have a twig, you can use a straw. Just something to basically give this a little bit of um, strength. Not too, you don't want it too hard because then when it comes time for it to fly, it won't fly. It'll be too stiff. So a twig works really good too, as you can see. I'm just adding my glue down there so it can dry. Okay. And then I'm going to reinforce it with some uh, tape. So I'm going to tape down here on the corner. I'm going to also tape down on this corner. I'm going to tape it right up here. I'm going to tape it in the middle because y'all can see it's coming up down there a little bit. And tape it in the middle and I'm going to tape it down there at the end and if you want to go back over on top of it and put something so that it uh, that you feel it it's more secure or if you want to make it nice and neat you can put a piece of uh, paper over those corners so that it can stay okay I'm gonna also uh, I didn't have another stick so I'm gonna use a pipe cleaner so you can use a straw, you can use a pipe cleaner, uh, just anything to make this a little bit more stable at the top and a little bit more stable. Okay, I'm going to reinforce that again with the tape. I realize now you're looking at glue. And I'm going to reinforce this with some tape. Okay. Once that dries, once that dries and is ready, you're going to poke a hole. You're going to poke a hole in either side, okay? I will pause this for number three.
I'm gluing my last strip down, my very last piece. And you want to wait till that fully dries. So it may take it a little bit, but you want to wait till it is dry before you start adding the other stuff. So on the very last piece, and I'm pressing it down. Okay, you can see that my back of my paper is fully covered now. It's fully covered. See that? All right. I'm going to punch two holes. So, the best way you want them to be even is to kind of fold it up a little bit. Okay? And you kind of see where you want to put them. And I'm going to punch. Oh, and even spot. There you go. It's about even. Doesn't have to be exact. I'm also going to put in the or punch off over here, and I'm going to punch it over there. And I'm going to punch one up at the top. And another one on this side. I then take my tissue paper, which I have right here, as you can see, and I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut about three um, rectangles. Again, you don't have to have okay. Then I'm going to turn this over. I'm going to turn my board over. And wherever I want them to come off of, I'm going to keep take it. So I'm going to turn it back over. I just did that so that y'all can have a look. So I'm going to put one right about here. Okay, I'm going to tape it right there. I'll do another one over here. Gonna glue one right here. One right here. If you want to double uh, tape them on the back so that they're okay, you can do that too. The very last step you're going to do, you're going to cut a piece of cardboard, a rectangle. And this is what you're going to wrap your string around. So, you're going to take your string or yarn and you're going to wrap, wrap, wrap. Wrap, wrap, wrap. Okay. Keep wrapping until you have the amount of string that you need that can be blowing around. Now, this is just for you to hold. So you're going to hold this part. And then you're going to stretch it out and you're going to tie it on to your Bird. 
Watching out my screen. the top right here tie off make sure you tape it down so it's Right, tie right. Pull it up. 